Okay, so this is another video in the AVI DMUX series um, where we're going to talk about filters and what these allow you to do. And we're going to take a look specifically at the crop filter because this is probably the one that will be most useful for a lot of people. Um, now, the pro not problem, but concern or consideration here is that once you in order to use filters you do need to kind of move outside of the basic easy settings for AVI Demox. In other words, to apply a video filter you need to select the type of output. So we can't get away with just saying copy anymore. So um, I'm not going to go through all of the different ones here. I am going to say that the one I use pretty much exclusively is the MPEG-4 AVC X264. This is equivalent to, this is sort of the, the open source equivalent to Apple's H.264 encoder, which is what QuickTime uses and which is pretty standard for um, high quality, minimal loss um, video encoding. So Again, MPEG-4 AVC X264 is what I recommend, that's what I use, and what has worked well for me in the past. So we're going to select that as the video output. Um, we don't really need to do anything in the configure here unless you really want, again, if you're a video editor, you understand what all of these things mean, or a video engineer, rather, uh, and you can fiddle to your heart's content, but we're... Uh, not going to today, so I'm just going to cancel. But what I really want to look at is the filters. So when you open up filters, there are different categories of filters. There's transform, there's interlacing, there's color. So different filters that do different things. You can even add subtitles. Um, but as you click through these, you'll see kind of which filters are available in each of those groupings. Um, sometimes uh, the one I've used most often is in is uh, interlacing in is in the interlacing group and it says uh, decomb uh, teleside because one of the jobs that I used to do was processing video from um, basically security feed camera type feeds uh, and the video that was produced by that camera was at a slightly different frame rate so it would have these kind of horizontal uh, pinstriping that was a little irritating so this decombing would allow it to kind of smooth those lines out. Chances are you'll never use that. But um, as I mentioned the one we're going to look at today is cropping and that is actually in the transform group and you can use this for things like adding a, a logo. If you want to put a watermark or something on your um, your video, you can use the add logo here. Um, but what we want to take a look at is the crop filter. And basically to add the filter, we double click it. And then this is showing us essentially a preview of our video frame. So we can select where we want to crop and oh, there we go basically you're going you're working with the top left and the bottom right corners so that will give you the ability to crop whichever part of the screen you need to crop and this would be useful for like if you have something that's letterbox and you want to get rid of the letterboxing you could use it for that or if you have a video feed where you've got sort of a like a screen recorder and a webcam or some other camera footage or video feed you can remove one or the other of those kind of once you have this set and this may take some trial and error so just be prepared to you know do things a couple of times or and it'd probably be better to kind of leave the the crop a little bit larger than you want um, you know unless what you're dealing with doesn't have very you know unless it's critical that you get everything in frame leave it a little bit larger 
and it'll be a little bit safer. Let me click OK, and click Close. Actually, if we actually open that up again. So basically what this is saying is now it's going to crop our video, which started out as 1280 by 720. The resulting image is going to be 1024 by 614. Now that's not a standard video aspect ratio. So when you produce this or when you publish this to something like Kaltura, Drexel Streams, YouTube, um, it's going to be you know, whichever service you put it into is going to do some kind of letterboxing to frame it out to an appropriate size. So that means it might be, you may end up with kind of black bars at the top and the bottom or left and right or some combination thereof. Just be aware of that. And unless you can crop it to a specific size that matches the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 1280, you know, equivalent to some multiple of 1280 by 720. Um, you can't really get around that, but we'll see how bad that looks. So, and then once we do that, we're going to basically process it the same way. So I'm going to save this and, oh, I forgot to change this to MP4 Voxer. So we'll save this. And I'm just going to call this cropping test one. And we'll save that. And this is going to take, now, because we are actually modifying the frame, this is going to take a little bit longer than it did when we were just chopping out pieces of it because it's actually resampling the video content. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording here and wait until this is finished so whereas before this took a matter of 20 or 30 seconds to just split something when we're actually transforming it it's going to take a little while so I'll come back when it's done okay so it's just about finished processing here less than a minute to go um, one of the things that I did not mention prior to this was that one of the downsides of doing it this way is that that crop filter that we're applying is going to apply to the entirety of the video. So um, this is not something that you could use to, at a certain point in time in the video, crop down to a certain value or a certain part of the frame and then later expand it or move it or change it so you do need to understand that when you apply this filter it is applying to the entire video from the start to the end so just take that into account uh, all right so I'm going to click OK and yeah let's take a look at that video the finished video this is cropping test and let's just play this. Let me just jump through. So just for comparison, we'll go to, let's say, 1239. So that's what the frame looks like at 1239. And Let's go back to the original video and see what that looks like. Just so that we know it actually is. Come on. Okay. Right, let's uh, try that again. There we go. So at 1238, so we can definitely see that it is actually cropping it. So, so that's that. Uh, that is how you use the crop filter in AVI Demux to 
produce part of the frame of a video into a new video.